Obviously, we receipt goods that come through for the stores, uh, make sure that they're receipted and the companies get paid. We make sure that all the parcels then go to the right locations, so there'll be numerous departments, wards in the hospital with a variety of equipment. We make sure that the theatres have their specialist kit coming in for operations. We provide all this, the nurses on the wards with their uh, general stock to make sure that the patients on the wards then receive the best care that they, they can. Every day is not the same in r &D. We get on an average of 70 cages per week, maybe 50 pallets a day, and over seven to 800 a special parcels that come in that need to be booked in on a computer. Everything really comes through and then obviously we go through it, make sure it gets to the right place, the right destination, on time, as best we can. Sometimes it's relentless, as one lorry turns up and you sort of get the items out, you might have two or three lorries queuing up. We could be doing an average of, say, 30,000 steps per day, which is quite, quite a lot. The boys, they've got a good, good team ethic and you see the boys back and forth, they, they, they take a delivery out and then they Back, back in the stores with another delivery, back and forth, back and forth. So it is, it is quite demanding, but yeah, I think I, I enjoy it. So it keeps me busy. <laughs> seeing it from start to finish, uh, from ordering a, a piece of equipment and seeing, seeing the process from right from the ordering to sending it off to get it delivered and actually getting the items then to the ward. But also as well is a sense of self-satisfaction when you see how busy we and there's lots of boxes, parcels built up and then you've gone from that to making sure that everything's gone out. I think every job in the NHS boils down to patient getting the best care. So if we didn't do our job then and we didn't gather the parcels and the equipment up, then the surgeon couldn't do their job and then the nurse couldn't look after the patient if we didn't have the stock there. And then obviously the hostesses with the food came for the patient. So the most rewarding thing is knowing that the, the job that you're doing has a massive impact on the patient then that you know and, and making sure that they get the best care that they can